to my channel so y'all already see the title I'm not gonna lie a part of me wasn't even gonna do it but I just felt like my obsession with Zara lately has been insane so I was like I just gotta show y'all all the cute stuff I've been getting and I'm not gonna lie I'm gonna stay in shape or whatever so it's like everything just looks super good on me I'm just like nah I gotta give my girls a Zara haul so without further ado let's get straight into this haul cause we don't got much to talk about besides these damn clothes alright so I know everybody's been seeing this set all over everybody's been buying it and now it's kinda getting warmer so we're not gonna really get the chance to show out off okay but as soon as I saw this, I had to grab it up because what? First of all, let's take a look at the sweats. So the sweats are really long. I'm 5'3", and they're pretty much dragging on the ground. I had to wear my uh, Yeezy size with them today because I needed a little boost. But, y'all, I just love how loosely they fit, but they're still very, like, they complement your shape as well. Like, I feel like they look really good on my shape. Because usually when I wear sweats, I do like them to be a little bit more fitted at the top and looser at the bottom. Whether it's the scrunchy bottom, whether it's straight, whether it's a little flare whatever I still like it to like you know fit my frame just flatter me a little bit I don't want to look like a box or nothing like you feel me and then with the top the top obviously you can see it's cropped if you lift your arms yes you're gonna see my bra so I wouldn't recommend it do too much it's definitely like a lounge run errands type of vibe maybe airport once again depending on where you are in the world to be honest you probably could put this on but where I'm at right now chill it's too hot for that okay it is too hot to put this on and don't get me wrong I'm trying to find any excuse to put it on like like, alright, it's gonna be 50. I'd rather go outside. I'm about to do a little one too. My hair gotta be done. Gotta take a cute little pic. Like, I ain't mean to. Because this is just so cute and effortless. So, if I pull the sleeves down right here. As you can see, got a little puff too. It's like a regular sweatsuit. But, first of all, it's super soft on the inside. Like, I don't know what to describe this detail but it's super soft on the inside so I love that extra comfort and then on top of that the sleeves are pretty long you know how you wear certain sweatsuits or certain sweaters and as soon as you start moving your arms you look like you got hot waters on that's not cute so I appreciate that as well and I just like the overall design of this outfit because I feel like the sweats are meant to look like they're high-waisted in a way and then the sweater you know of course crop so they complement each other and then usually it comes with like the little scrunchy piece or whatever depending on what sweatsuit you get or where it's from and I just like the way they did it. So I don't know. I was really feeling this. But I know one thing about it. As soon as I saw this sweatsuit, I ran to get it. I saw it and then I went to sleep. Woke up the next day and ran to go get it. Because I was not playing. I actually got the last one. The last more. I was not playing. So I had to snatch me up a bit. So... As I go throughout this video, you will see the numbers, everything will be tagged. Don't worry about it, girl. But other than that, let's get to the next item. All right, y'all, so this next item is a bodysuit. When I tell y'all this is so form-fitting, y'all. So first of all, let's talk about the details. The first thing that caught my eye was the shoulders because I couldn't really see if it was giving padding. Well, obviously, it didn't have no padding, but the shape was just so different. I was like... For some reason, I just want this. And I love new bodysuits, neutral color bodysuits. I be feeling so prone to like, all right, I'm going to just buy it anyway. You never know when you're going to need a bodysuit. You can have too many bodysuits, okay? Especially as a woman, you never know. If I was to pull it down just a little bit, we ain't going to do too much. But this is how high it comes on the waist. And this is how it looks in the back. So it's not um, a thong bodysuit, but it's still very seamless. And one thing about me, I'm going to buy something seamless. Nothing feels better than being able to put on a pair of leggings or something that's just a little bit sheer, maybe some shorts and you don't have a panty line that is so unattractive and just, ugh, tacky, very tacky. So I like the fact that it's seamless and it's breathable. It kind of reminds me of a bathing suit a little bit, just a little bit by the material. But other than that, it is too pretty odd. Please do not mind my bra, y'all. I have a textured bra on and I know how textured bras look under solid clothes. Not cute, I'm sorry, but this is the only one I can find at the moment. So you get what you get, okay? Don't come for me. It's so different to me. It's kind of like, it's not short sleeve, but it's not a spaghetti strap or, you know, the thicker straps. It's just kind of right in the middle and I think that's what makes it different. So like I said, you can never have too many bodysuits because they all come in all shapes and sizes, okay? Period. I believe it also comes in nude black. Nude black and green. The gray I might be stretching, I'm not sure. But I know it comes in different colors and Zara is like pushing it out right now. So I had to make sure I grab one. Now I did try to try on a small in the store and it did not work out, y'all. My shoulders was like, you're not a small. Okay, you're not a small, but you're not a small. I was humbled very fast. So this is a medium and the medium fits me perfectly fine. Like, we 
All right, y'all, so next we have this kind of, I don't even know what you would call it, because it kind of looked like a white beater, but it's really not. I would kind of call it a, no, it's not a blouse. I don't know what I would call it, y'all, but it's a thicker, more quality version of a white beater, basically. It's thick as heck, y'all. My, I got lip gloss on this twice. I'm gonna have to take it to the cleaners to see if they can get this stain out. So let me just put a little disclaimer out there. Make sure you don't got nothing on your face or you got something to fully cover your face before you put this on, because nine times out of ten, you're gonna get something on it. I should have put something over my head, but it's okay. I'm going to figure something out. Y'all, when I tell y'all this is so form-fitting, so I have this on with a bra right now because I'm just trying on multiple things and I want to keep taking my bra. I want to know if y'all know how annoying that is. But I would usually wear this without a bra. That's how much security it has, and it still holds my boobs up. But when I saw this, I tried to pair it with some jeans from Zara, but the jeans, they wound up not fitting good because, you know, I'm just so thick. Nothing fits anymore. But when I tried this on, when I tell you this can complement your outfit, this can bring your outfit from... Mm, okay, so oh nah, that's a nice little piece or a nice top. Y'all know we had those tops or those pants, stockings, accessories that just kind of make the outfit look a little bit more like put together. This is what I would consider this top where you can wear with jeans. Of course, you see me with sweats on wearing this. You can wear a skirt. You can wear anything and it's going to complement the whole outfit. So that's what really made me grab this. And honestly, anything from Zara really, I really never get let down besides the denim. Zara, please come out with more stretchy denim because I'm tired of my butt looking like a flat pancake, okay? I got volume now. Get with it, okay? I'm still going to shop with you, but get with the, the denim, okay? Anyways, this is this top, and y'all, when I tell y'all, the detailing of this top is such great quality. I would have regretted leaving this behind because I feel like this is something that's super essential for all of us to have in our wardrobe. So make sure y'all go check this out and get you a quick little top. And make sure that if you have makeup on you, get this top. Put something over your face. I don't care if it's Vaseline. It's going to come off on this shirt. This is my second time putting this shirt on. I think today, and I got stains on it every single time. So please, y'all, be careful. Okay, y'all, so... So for this next top, when I tell you when I saw it, I kind of had mixed emotions, but this is one of those tops where it's like you kind of have to see it on to get the vision. Or if you already kind of get the idea of it, then you might just grab it. But I saw it and I was just like, this is different and I like it. So I do this thing, right? I just take a whole bunch of clothes that I like and I go try them on. So this is one that made the cut. And when I tell y'all, I do not regret buying this at all. Tell me this top isn't so fire first of all it's different number one what would we call this like a vest top a crop top uh i don't know it kind of gives me like schoolgirl, catholic school if you went to catholic school you know this is not too far-fetched you know what's going on all right but look this top is so fire so it kind of gives you a jean material if you're just straight looking at it and then of course when you come and touch it it's not super soft like the details feel exactly how they look i'll say that but it's very comfortable the only thing i will say about this top the neck does not really stretch so this is how much space you want to get to put it on yes i might mess up your makeup yes it's probably gonna mess up your hair so if you're really good with makeup and you do not make a mess then okay put the top on first and then do whatever but if you somebody like me who just clumsy sometimes and stuff happens I would get something to put over my makeup, my face, my lips, something so it doesn't mess up this top because a lot of Zara tops, I realize, they don't have that much stretch around the neck and I hate that because we don't want to keep messing up our tops and our dresses and stuff with makeup. So, I don't know. But this is this top and I definitely feel like it's worth the price. The material is far from cheap. It definitely feels like something that is worth the amount. So, make sure y'all go grab y'all a little top and especially what I bought it with. I'm about to show y'all right now. I bought the skirt to go with it and I was like, I think this will be a look or maybe some white pants. You could wear some white pants with it which I have one of my favorite pants are white pants. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. I will wear those with this. Maybe some nice capris during the summertime. Like, this top is so versatile. So I just can't wait to see how I finally pair it up because I don't know. I just grabbed the bottom like this girl and I was just like, oh, I could probably wear that. And then I just got so many different ideas. I was like, hmm, I just might be on to something. I don't know. She said, what you did, what you did. She said, what you did, what you did. So tell me the skirt do not eat with the top. Tell me the skirt do not eat with the top, y'all. I had a vision, and I'm not gonna lie, I picked them up separately, but I was just like, yo, these will look so fine together, especially with my hair. My hair is just making it so much better, child. Yeah. So this is a score, I guess you can say. And no, it's not shorts in the back, but boom, it's shorts underneath. So one thing about me, child, I love me a short pleated skirt, a little bit of cheek stuff. That's my type of vibe, okay? If you're not like that, you don't like all that. Then that's on you, but I like a little bit of cheeks out when I wear these pleated skirts. I'm not going to lie. That's just me, though. No personal preference, personal preference. But tell me the skirt doesn't eat. I feel like it's snatching in my waist without squeezing it. Like, I have some room. I can pull it, 
but I don't feel like it's squeezing or it looks kind of off. So I really appreciate that about this skirt. And it's just very simple, a nice simple pleated skirt. Definitely quality. It could be a little bit tight though, and you know, it's a little, it's a little tight up there. Them shorts is a little small, but the skirt is still eating y'all. With the top, with honestly, you could go with the other top too, but I probably wouldn't mix those to be honest. Even a bodysuit, it could go nice with that too. I wouldn't match it. I would match it with something like this or like a different blouse or something of some type of drama pattern, something just to kind of even it out and just so it could like complement each other. You know what I'm saying? You want to do enough, but just not too much. You know what I'm saying? But yes, how are we feeling about this skirt, y'all? I think this skirt was like $30 something dollars. I don't know. I'm gonna put it on screen somewhere. But definitely worth all the coin. So this dress is really that girl. So first of all, everybody loves and needs a calf length dress. And I know everybody calls it different lengths, but it's literally calf length. So that's just what I'm calling it, okay? So first of all, besides the fact that y'all already see it gives the body or whatever, this is so, when I saw this dress, I said, okay, boom, another basic necessity. Besides sets and tops, bodysuits, da 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 da, and stuff like that, we need dresses that are still very form fitting, but still very appropriate to wear in different occasions. So, around the boob area, it is double layered, but if it's a little nippy in the room, I'm not gonna lie, headlights is on, okay? So, if you wanna try to avoid that, you could wear pasties. You probably could wear a bra with this too, I'm pretty sure, but I'm just not, me personally, I'm not gonna wear a bra with it. I just like how free and flowy it is. This is how the back looks. Tell me she doesn't eat, okay? Down, eat down. So I definitely had to add this to my basics collection because this just needs to be here. You know, I love my mini dresses and stuff like that, but sometimes I just want to be comfortable. I don't want no cleavage. I don't want my butt out too much. You know, legs, I really don't be minding, but sometimes I don't want my legs out. Sometimes I do want to wear dresses like this. You know, I'm a little bit all over the spectrum. Sometimes reserved, sometimes not, and just, you know, a little bit more out there. I'm a risk taker, but I still like to be comfortable at the same time. So this dress is very, very very, very extremely comfortable. It's not too tight. So the sizes range from small, medium, and large. So I am wearing a small right now. And I was trying to see if they did have an extra small because although I do feel like this is very flattering, nice and form fitting, I still would have liked it to be a, just a little bit more tight because I feel like if I walk, right, it's going to start to rise up and then it's gonna kind of lose its shape a little bit. Maybe I'm dragging it, maybe it's just me, I don't know. But as I was trying it on, you know, I put this on a few times and I was just like, you know what? I really wish I would've got an extra small, but they don't come in an extra small. So this is as good as it's gonna get y'all as far as tightness, but I still love this dress. I love how it's just calm and just does the job, okay? I believe it also comes in black too. I'm not sure about any other colors, but I'm pretty sure I saw black behind it. So make sure I get y'all one of these little dresses, okay? So speaking of mini dresses, bow, okay? Hold on, bam. Isn't this too cute, y'all? Y'all, tell me this dress isn't adorable. So not only does it come in a few colors, the only other color I bought was black because I just kind of felt like, I don't know, I have a new dress already. It does come in nude, I didn't get that one though. Um, does it come in any other color? I'm not sure, but I know it came in this color. I guess you would consider this what, like a plum, plumish kind of color. So they got plum, nude, and black, so yes. I don't know, to me personally, I feel like the black one looks a little bit cuter because it just slims me a little bit down. No, I don't want to look slimmer than I am, but I feel like it enhances my curves. I don't know, maybe I just be like delusional or maybe it's really like banging. Along with the other dress, this dress is double layered by the boob, so can we just thank Zara for that because nobody wants to see a boob straight through your dress. Some girls like that, I personally don't. I don't, I don't want you to see my nips, so I appreciate that very thick right here. Now the strings, uh, the string, let me see how the strings are attached. I feel like the strings are attached pretty good. It's not like it's just sold by a little, little dangly thread. But I will say, do not rely on the strings to pull this dress up because this dress, I kind of would consider this a bodycon mini dress, kind of. It's not too tight, but it's tight enough to hold you just the right amount. So if I had to give it from medium, from the low to high, it's definitely in the mid range. It's gonna hold you down, but it's not gonna do too, too much at the same time. When I do put this dress on, I have a small on, or extra small, I know I'm gonna put it on the screen somewhere. When I was pulling this dress up, I caught myself grabbing the like straps and I'm like, oh my God, if I pull it up too hard, I'm gonna pop the strings and that's literally it. You're gonna have to take it to the cleans and they're gonna have to figure it out. And nobody wants to like deal with that. One thing about it, we gonna buy certain basics. We need to buy quality basics and this 
it's definitely a quality basic and I just love how thick it is. It gives me cute, simple, and sexy, but still makes me feel like I paid a little piece of money for it and not just got it for like 2 for 10. No shade for the 2 for 10s, but this ain't 2 for 10. This is Zara and this is going to last you a very long time, okay? Which one do y'all prefer? Y'all like the plum color better or do y'all like the black better? Personally, um... Know y'all because the black one is really it though. Like I don't, I don't know, cause they fit the same. It's just different colors. Y'all, I don't know, but I love both of them. And y'all need to go get y'all one of these dresses right now. So, oh my gosh, oh, I'm so sad, y'all. But this is the last item that I got, y'all. This is like I got some collective for, cause I got these all at different times. But yes, y'all. So this is the last item I got. This is this. I guess you could say jumpsuit, and it's pretty much giving me the vibe of like a big jumpsuit stocking to be honest like that's kind of what it reminds me of and it's just i guess you could say a thicker stocking because although it is slightly see-through like i'm pretty sure you could if you really look you could see my pasties and from the back i do have on a new thong so i'm not sure if y'all are able to see that but it is kind of sheer but it's kind of like if you're risky enough to wear this outside it could do it it really just depends on who's looking and how hard they looking you know what i'm saying like i feel like i would wear this outside i'm not gonna lie accessorize it or whatever speaking of accessories i'm gonna show y'all that in a second i don't know if i'm gonna put it on now but i'm gonna show y'all in a second so this jumpsuit y'all this is literally is it spandex i wouldn't even say spandex I don't even know. It's, it's just a stocking, okay? Just think of a stocking, but a good stocking. Not the cheap stocking, if that makes any sense. So, this was from the Limitless Kind Collection. And, y'all, this was $35. This is $35. You know them dresses that you get from, like, a lot of the boutiques out here? Remember the, um... So, if you go on my website, you will see the birthday jumpsuit. And it's pretty much a nude jumpsuit. And it's just kind of... When you initially look at it, you're like, oh, this should be on, like, the... $15, $20 right. I was like, oh my God, $35 for this. But something told me, grab it and try it on. I tell y'all, this is one of my biggest, I feel like that's one of my best decisions because I love this. Now, you can also wait in an intimate setting. You don't lounge around the house, wear it around your man or whatever, give him a little bit, a little bit, okay? And I think they would love it. It just kind of depends on where you will wear it, you know, what type of girl you are. And I'm just a little bit of both. I think I would lounge around the house in this, but I also think I would go outside on some low-key, maybe some sneakers, a nice hat, just do it a little one, too. I'm going to enter the video of how I wore it in the store when I was trying it on because I'm not putting that hat on. I'm not messing up my hair no more after all these clothes. I am not doing it. But this is how I wore it, and I thought those would look really nice together, maybe some nice sneakers, maybe even some sandals, but uh this is kind of giving me more of a sneaker vibe or just, I don't know. I guess it depends. I don't know how I'm going to wear it yet, but that's how I was feeling. But, y'all, look at how sexy this jumpsuit is. Look at the back. Bam, bam, bam. Okay? Very cute and very flattering to your shape, y'all. When I tell y'all, y'all need to run and go get this. So, they also have a nude version of this, but it's short. And I was just looking at it like... Being that I love the black one so much, do I need it? And I don't never need it, but it's just like, do I want it? And I was just like, mm, I don't know. So I just wanted to not get it, but I might spin the block. I don't know. I might spin the block, I might not. I had no idea. But other than that, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching this video. Did we enjoy the video? Did we enjoy the body? Do we enjoy the body? I like the yes. So remember, all of these items will be linked in the description box, all the codes, everything y'all gonna need to get y'all hands on some. Go check your local Zara, see if they got it before you spend money on a shipping fee, okay? Some people like me, I'm very impatient. I like to go in person and grab and just go by my day. I don't wanna see a track in them, I don't wanna see none. I wanna go get it by myself and have it in my hand very at that very second. So, so let me know if y'all wanna see more videos like this. I'm definitely gonna be doing like, I guess, um, I don't wanna say, I don't know. Every few months I'm gonna do some Zara hauls and just give y'all a little bit of something to what I got from Zara. Cause I'm not gonna lie, I'm a Zara fiend. Like every time I go to the mall, I'm going to Zara. I don't care if I can't, y'all wanna know something? Most of these items I got in one sitting. So this, the dresses, um, the, I got something else, I don't remember. I went to the mall for a hand soap. I went to the mall to go to Bath and Body Works to go to get a hand soap. Left with no hand soap, and all of this, just this, the dresses and the hat, came up to about $178, almost $200, y'all. So just, okay, clearly I have no soap with y'all, but 
y'all get the point thank y'all so much for tuning into this video y'all i hope y'all really enjoyed this i hope y'all about to go grab some of y'all good pieces have y'all some nice things for the summertime and yeah let me know if y'all want to see more videos like this down below like if you like this video comment down below let me know your thoughts and subscribe if you want to see more videos from <laughs> and i will see y'all in my next video bye y'all